Let me make sure I get a good view of these models. <laughs> you like a Vanna White hand in there? It is quite impressive, really, what you guys have come up with. All right, who wants to explain this? You guys can all work on it together, so. All right, so this is the neuron with the dendrites. That's the nucleus. This right here is the axon with our myelin sheaths. You want to explain the gate point? Yeah, this is sodium in between here, and the myelin sheath actually opens up, and the sodium floods in and polarizes it. <laughs> Like this, and then it comes down, the signal comes down through the neuron, through the presynaptic vesicles. Uh, the terminal. These are, yeah, terminal. terminal buttons. These are the synaptic vesicles carrying the neurotransmitters, transmitters being released into the synapse, which are picked up at the receptors. And eventually, that signal gets down to the muscle, and it goes down the T-tubule, and into the sarcoplasmic reticulum, or the milk bag, where... It releases the calcium. And then here you have the green is the actin, and the purple with the big heads is the myosin. Um, and you can see the, the tropomyosin is the white long strand that runs along the top of the actin with the red. The red dots are the troponin, which would move and uh, open up the calcium binding sites. And you can see here where the, the head of the myosin Binds onto the actin, preparing to do the power stroke. All and right. Pull it back. It's well, pretty uh, good. What do you guys think? Are you impressed? I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see what the other team has. All right, so this is the other group stuff, right? You guys, all sorts of. You got some random stuff here, but you got. The, <laughs> I don't know, that's pretty good. Yes, yeah, so why don't you explain to us what, you, uh, what you've got here? All right, well, here's our axon here, connected to the synaptic and the synaptic vesicles. Uh, the pluses are uh, sodium, and then we move on here. <laughs> so this is your axon. So this you, is our axon. Okay, so you didn't include the dendrites or the cell body part. No. Nope. Okay, all right, just making sure what we've got here. Okay, all right, so our synapses, our blue things, our synaptic vesicles, and then what happens? <clears throat> What, do, what is this over here? What do you, you yeah, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> oh, that's our SR. And, oh, and okay. Uh, T-tubule. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that would be the next step then, right? Yeah. So the signal connected. comes from the end of the synapse, and then, so <laughs> maybe you can explain your model. It looks kind of like a bridge. <laughs> what, what's what in your model here? What is this? The T-tubule is the orange. Oh, okay. And SR is the pink. Okay, all right. So the SR has the calcium, and then when it, the calcium is released, that goes over here now, right? <laughs> so we've got over here. So what, what's this you got? What's the pink? What, yeah, what, we, what do we have the over here? The pink is supposed to be the actin with the little holes. And then these are the myosin. Oh, the green things are the myosin. And then okay. we got tropomyosin and troponin on okay. top. Okay, so when the calcium's released, the troponin instructs tropomyosin to, to move, move away from the, the binding sites. sites. And then your green little myosin heads, then it can hook on to the binding sites. Yeah. Now, Megan, you worked very hard on this. I hate to have us not <laughs> talk about what this is. Um, well, the green is the microfibrils, and then the orange um, is the T-tubules. It's just a smaller version. Okay, so it's a more of a 3D kind of version. <laughs> okay. All right, well, that's informative, right? 